started as a, as a regular road and then went off-road for a little bit. So yeah, now we're going on to our boat that's supposed to take us there within 15 minutes. So yeah, see how it goes. Going into the jungle. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely gotta wear some sandals. Highly recommend getting good sandals. I think we took the wrong path. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Tacos and Cartos. Okay, so I'm gonna buy the ingredients of the time to do the introduction about the camp, also the do's and the don'ts while you are staying here. Okay? Okay, but it's not time that when you will see the camp of the camp. You better uh, use some smart Okay, there you go. Uh, take note, very important. Always speak and fair. I don't want you to get wrong along yeah. Okay? And don't go so far. Like, be beyond those waves, very deep. Like, 10 meters, yeah. This is very shallow water over here. And after those waves, it's very... You can use the port bath so okay. you can find the sun coming in. Yeah. See you later, guys. Awesome, yeah. thank you. Alright, so it looks pretty decent. Better than the normal tent life that we have back in San Diego. We have a full queen size bed. Or king size, I'm not too sure which, but it's big. Got our electricity over there, but they said that they have a brownout from 12 o'clock to 3 in the afternoon. So it could be a brownout right now, frankly. Electric fan, got your mirror over here, nice little towel set up. Um, when you choose to sleep at the tent, the bathroom and toilet is shared so yeah Leanne is doing our regular check of uh, bed bugs check it out we got this uh, kind of like old case here not too sure what we're gonna put in there but yeah pretty cool definitely has that island feel got this painting I'm not too sure what it's about but cool And gets this side of the bed. <laughs> and yeah, check out our beach view. Beautiful. Got our little cabana right here. Somebody else's aqua shoes, I'm not too sure. But oh, this is cute. What you got over there? What you got over there? John reluctantly coming up here. Can you show me your snorkel? So like uh, how much is that? A hundred pesos for two dollars for rental. Uh, looks like maybe a dog house or they're trying to build some stuff. Hey for chickens. They look pretty small.
on the other side of the island um, where we're staying at and we are headed over to the shipwreck area if we can uh, because it's a high tide uh, we have to go um, through the water a little bit um, but yeah that's not a problem here we are to the water crossing maybe i should take off my sandals for a photo. this what is this We've also seen um, parrotfish, branching coral. So yeah, there's our little guide of animals here on the island. still trying to look for this shipwreck um, based from a map that I pulled up from a previous video um, I think we passed it so we're gonna go back maybe ask around and yeah hopefully we can check it out but according to the end the, the water is like really murky right now so we're going to check it out maybe head back and then try again tomorrow so Look at this beautiful water, it's like so blue, different shade, bro, you know? I feel like there's so much life. Molt is the 
shell of the crab because they have to molt off the layers every now and then, like new skin, so that they grow bigger and bigger. Don't quote me on this. Oh, hey, check it out. A dog right next to us. A sea dog. It doesn't mind us at all. It doesn't care because it's a free dog. Some shell that you find at the sea. <laughs> Could be a home of a of an animal. Oh, it could be a spider conch. Alright, so this is where we try to get through. Well, I'll let you know. What are we looking for, Leanne? Um, well, I was going to show you a, bar, a boring clam. This right here is called a boring clam, according to my research, because it bores into the rock. Oh yeah, we saw that on the on the billboard earlier. Yes, but it's also known as a giant clam, so a boring clam definitely. Definitely, guys, um, bring sandals. Um, I feel like sandals are better compared to aqua shoes because they're easier to clean all the sand out. If you're someone like me, I hate sand in my shoes. Uh, but at the same time, they do protect your feet. And honestly, I got these cheap pairs. They're rip curls from um, El Nido. And uh, they're holding up okay. They're a little slippery. Um, when they rub against my feet. So. They're perfect. We're here than it is everywhere else we went. So, if you wanna look, I would. I feel like maybe right there. I'm hungry. It's not even seven yet. Seven is when dinner starts. So, yeah. Almost back. Leanne said I can get a snack. There she is. The very gracious Leanne in the wild. She said it's good. Thumbs up. Okay, good. Good quality. We found something, guys. I'm never gonna see her again. So let's go get some food. See where the water is like not really smooth in it? Yeah. I think that's an indication of the clarity of it. So, for example, I probably went like just in that green area. And in that little spot of green, from like here to here, I saw three cucumbers. And then I saw a big sea star. The, what is it called? Yeah, those usual ones. The blue ones? But I'd say the water is like three feet deep, so you're very, pretty far away from anything on the ground. And it's really short seagrass. So, yeah, it's good. It's clear. It's a little like scary just snorkeling on your own, so I wish you were here too. Throw it off.
managed to find a little pocket where we can actually snorkel and check out stuff. So basically what we saw was huge starfishes and very big sea cucumbers. And uh, a couple fish here and there, but they're a little shy. Now we head home where we can eat our... Yeah, I wonder what they're eating. We're going to be eating um, food which they have on the island. <laughs> Not only for the they got, but perfectly crafted to our benefits. Where, you know, for Leanne, she's allergic to peanuts. I'm not allergic to anything, I think. But uh, yeah, they really um, take into consideration um, what you can't eat. So if you're like vegetarian, they'll make vegetarian food for you. If you have a certain um, allergy, they'll definitely cook around that. So they're really good at it. They really appreciate it. But yeah, dinner at seven o'clock. I'm hungry. Leanne looks hungry too. Wow. I really just wish we ordered another Again. <laughs> Just stay there. Let me move. Sir John, what do you think the showers are going to be like tonight? I haven't seen them, so I don't know. Um, I think they're going to be stone. I think you can use, there's like an outdoor shower, so you can always wash yourself with your bathing suit on and then just like put the soap in your hair, wash your body, and then do the last parts later. <laughs> that sounds pretty good. How about no shower? Mm.